Right before winter hits, the R8 is about to get a lot louder. We are heading down to b Rogue Built in dynamic detailing. Well, first the R8 needs a wash because it is absolutely filthy. And then we're also getting it tinted and we're getting an exhaust put on. So today is going to be a very, very busy day for the R8. I am extremely excited. The base R8 V10 definitely sounds good, but it's a little quiet, especially compared to like a V10 Plus or a Huracan. And uh, an aftermarket exhaust system will wake it up, make it a bit louder. I've driven a couple cars that have a B Rogue setup, notably Mike threw in two supercars. They're pre LP Murcielago with a full titanium straight pipe. That thing screamed. So I'm excited to have some B Rogue titanium on my R8 and maybe a twin turbo kit in the future, but not, not, not yet, not yet. Uh, but this exhaust will also have some valve functionality. So when I want to quiet it down, I should be able to, then it also should definitely sound a lot better. I am so excited. I actually, I don't think I've heard one of their NA V10 exhausts in person. I've heard videos of them. I've heard the twin turbo builds that B-Rogue does, but not this say NA V10 exhaust, which should change today. So got about a 45 minute drive. Uh, let's go. The poor R8 has been driven well over a thousand miles up to Wisconsin, over the Michigan in the rain, without being washed. So it is absolutely filthy. So before we get anything else done, it's going to get a quick wash from Dynamic Detailing. We also just talked about black badges. So the RWS, this one has the black optics grill and stuff, but they didn't do badges. So that's kind of annoying because... For some reason, well, actually, no, Audi tax is the reason. Uh, the black badges are insanely expensive, so I'll get that at some point. It definitely needs it to match the black grills, though. B-Rogue built the land of Huracan and R8 V10s. Look at the exhaust on this thing. That is definitely not what I'm getting on mine because mine is not twin turboed because I cannot afford that without selling a kidney. But soon my R8 will be nice and loud. We'll talk to Brandon, do an install, just probably right here. Car is clean, thanks to Dylan. Sorry I made you wash a car in the cold. Do you still have, have all your fingers? Hands. Start up this vacuum cleaner. Stack, it's not that quiet. <laughs> Got no keys in here. What? Where, where's the key? Take two. <laughs> I mean, it sounds. It's not. I can see. <laughs> All right. You're promising that it's going to be way louder with the exhaust. Just a little bit. All right. So this is Brandon from B Rogue Built. What exactly are we putting on the R8 today? So you are getting one of our more rare, because we don't do as many valve systems as a lot of people want. So um, it's a little different. It's got a little more aesthetic to it. It's got, you actually have a little bit of a tone difference. But, okay. Um, but, but it will be cool. a lot louder. Yeah. So it's full titanium. Full titanium. Cat back, full titanium. We'll lose the gigantic muffler. Yeah. Yeah, the boat anchor is gone. The boat anchor is gone. It's like yeah. 60 something pound weight loss or something? Yeah, 68. So. Holy crap. All right. Yeah. And then, so all we're doing, the full rear bumper comes off. Yep. And then OEM exhaust comes off, new one goes on, and we're good? Yeah. Pretty easy? Yeah, we could do like, we'll probably end up doing like a, like a we do a rattle check just okay. to make sure everything's good in yeah. between. Okay. And then, um, yeah. All right. There, just make a lot of noise. Cool. Make a lot of noises. We will time lapse this. We'll get a bunch of clips, and I'm not going to be of any use because I'll probably just drop things and break things. So I'll watch the experts do it. But I am, I am very excited.
Look at this thing. This is an actual work of art. Oh man, that is awesome. Full titanium. This is so cool. And those are the valves right there. So they're, va they're vacuum actuated, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Vacuum actuated. So they operate just like stock. So it's vacuum to open. Oh, okay. Or sorry, vacuum to close. Sorry. Okay. Vacuum. Yeah. But on cold start, it would just like open up the valves, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about cold start. Okay. Quiet, so. I, I don't really want cold start to be quiet. Yeah, My neighbors are yeah. going to hate me a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Observe the shelf that contains various components of the rear end of my R8, but most importantly, the exhaust. This is absolutely gorgeous. We've got the B Rogue logo there, right by the hangers, the valves, and this will, Brandon said, will turn blue. The exhaust, the titanium, will change color as it gets on the car and heats up. So I'm excited to see how that changes because you can see, I think, this part right like through the little grill on the back bumper. And the back bumper's gone, so I've got a bumper delete R8 now. 8,000 miles on the stock rear tires, and they're almost at the wear bars. Rear wheel drive problems, but that's okay. I've got, I'm gonna get winter tires for the R8, so this will be driven in the snow. Holy crap, that's a lot of heat shielding that comes with it too. Look at that. So if we put a turbo there and a turbo there and drain my bank we, account, we, yeah. We have a turbo kit right there. We, we can show you what it would look like if you want to see it. Oh, just it mock out. it up. Like yeah. I, can, I can, I think I can imagine it, Brandon. I think. Well, just look at this one. <laughs> Man, I don't know if you need like a what is it, like your front picture. What is it called? What? Your picture for your the story. Oh, thumbnail. 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 Yeah. Do you yeah. Need a thumbnail? Put turbos under just giant question marks right there. Man. All right. So here's a stock exhaust, it's like 80 something pounds. I know I can't curl it, but I will try and fail just to show you guys. Man, it's actually, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, I'm putting this on before I hurt myself. This is purely for demonstrational purposes. There are two bolts here that we can hang the exhaust on, but you won't see this, not only because the bumper is going on, but the heat shielding will cover all of this because again, it's a V10, with an exhaust that will generate a lot of heat, so a lot of heat shielding, but this is just a work of art from B-Rogue. We have the logo right there on those hangers, and just look at those welds and the design. It's almost a shame to cover this up. Brandon, can we like, if we just left the bumper off? We can, winter's coming up. Oh yes, this will just get covered in salt and snow, so we're not gonna do that. The bumper will go on. You will be able to see the the pipes that come down here, and Brandon has assured me that they will change color. I want blue titanium. You gotta change the color. I will change them. You if I earn it. I have to earn it. Yeah. So if I just drive it in comfort mode in seventh year all the time, it won't do it. It's not good. <laughs> you gotta drive it. We'll have to properly drive it. So this is gonna come back off. The heat shielding will go on, and we are on to the install assembly portion. So weird seeing the R8 with nothing on the back. I had to make sure to actually feel how light this exhaust is. This is like just two pinkies. It weighs nothing. Wow, that is, that's impressive. There's burgers that weigh more than that thing. Yes, I've eaten steaks that weigh more than this thing. Like, honestly, this is amazing. Yeah, that's a huge weight savings. Yeah, how much power will I get with this? Uh, we see an average of like 20 to 28 wheel. Oh, 20 to 28 wheel? Yeah. Without a tune, just with, from less restriction. Tune. Yeah. Okay, and eventually, I'll have to tune it, because it's mechanically the same as a Huracan. So, yeah, buddy. All right, cool. <laughs> now I'll put this down carefully. And just like that, it is coming back together. Heat shield on, the rear crash bar is on, and the exhaust is ready. For the first time, the car will be started with the b Rogue Titanium. So again, there's a grill that goes here with the rear bumper, so we can see that piece there, which will be really cool. Still a lot of parts to go back in together, but soon we'll be starting this thing up. I am, I'm extremely excited to hear this for the first time. So remember that orange performante? Yeah, that's my boss's boss, and I'm very excited to make his car seem quiet, because right now his car is a lot louder than mine when stock. So I've been assured by Brandon that uh, the B Rogue Titanium R will be significantly louder. And then after that, we'll have to tune in at some point, because again, powertrain-wise, it's the same. So with the tune, we could be at performante power levels, fully rear-wheel drive, which will be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, exciting things to come. And again, this thing is getting winter tires. I am driving this in the snow, so we'll have loud, fantastic V10 and some donuts in the snow, which is a good combination. Look, got some beards. What's that? Camera? Hello? <laughs>
day different. Holy crap. Sounded fantastic and Brandon was just giving it baby revs. So once we get it up to, I mean, running it to red line and under load on the road is going to be insane. I am so excited. Just a cold start, you like feel it. I don't think my neighbors are gonna love it, but I really don't actually care. Um, it sounds, oh my God, I am so excited. This is how like a supercar should sound from the factory. They don't, from the factory, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It's like a Dyson. That was epic and I cannot wait for it to get completed on the ground and out, out on the road. But since it's winter already, it's like dark outside. It's like barely six o'clock and it looks like nighttime. That sucks. If you ever decide to buy a boat, you got your perfect anchor. That is accurate. <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely hold a boat in place for sure. This could be, I wonder if I could turn this into some like garage or wall decoration. That's really so, all it's good for. Honest, someone actually did it. what I thought was really cool. They had it uh, powder coated black. And they used it as a table, but they had the logo, like, uh, someone welded the logo onto it. That, cool. actually, that is the only thing the stock R8 exhaust is good for, and I, I might figure out something to do yeah. with that, so. The finishing touch, the B-Rogue logo will now officially grace my car. Makes I'm sense. letting Brandon do it, because if I put it at the wrong angle. It's gotta be on the right angle. It has, it has to be at the right angle, yes. Is it done? There we go. There it is. Official. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna get tired of that. Even just at idle, oh my god. That thing sounds so much better. with this exhaust. Not really. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying very hard. Holy crap! Oh man, already it's been approximately five minutes and I can say wholeheartedly if you have a Gen 2 R8 or Huracan, you need to have a B-Rogue titanium exhaust. Like you need to, like it's not even a question. This is not the first B-Rogue experience I've had, because again, Mike's Mercy, uh, that thing screamed. This is still like livable. That Mercy Lago hurt, like it was yeah. too loud. That's what he wanted. He hits what he did indeed, and he got that for sure. conclude this vlog with the B-Rogue Titanium exhaust install on the R8. Don't worry, there will be more videos of the R8 coming, actually probably more, because I just ordered winter tires and I will be driving this in the snow through the winter, uh, so we'll be enjoying the glorious V10 noises now that the engine is getting justice done with the exhaust. Brandon, thank you. Happy. More than happy to. More than happy to be recipient of this beautiful work of art on the car. We'll be doing many more videos, and you did promise me at some point I'll get to experience one of your twin turbo builds. Yes. So I will, have to. I will have to do that. I, have to. I will have to do that. Be Rogue Built, check them out on Instagram, all the social medias. If you need anything for your car, not just an NAV10 exhaust, 
twin turbo builds is your specialty. That's, that is what you do. Uh, get it done. Thanks for watching, guys.